You all know PETA, their very name is pro-animal, right? Well, then why in the world would PETA object to a proposal to make the sweet, cuddly, beautiful, wonderful Labrador Retriever the state dog of Ohio? What's the problem with that? So we thought we'd ask PETA Associate Director Ashley Byrne, who joins us from L.A., and we're delighted she's with us. Ashley, okay, so... Again, for people who are watching, they don't kind of follow the, the controversies about shelter dogs versus dogs that are bred. Ohio wants to have the dog as its official dog. And other states have dogs as their official dogs, which was new to me until today. Uh, we have de dogs that are like the Catahoula dog, which is Louisiana's dog. We have Alaska, the Malamute. We have New Hampshire, the Chinook. I thought that was a helicopter. We had Pennsylvania, the Great Dane, and a butt. So why are you guys at PETA upset that the lab is going to be Ohio's official dog? Well, don't get me wrong. We love all dogs, and we love it when people make a point of recognizing how wonderful dogs are. The problem is that when you do something to promote a specific dog breed, what we see is uh, you know, people running out and buying lots of those dogs, and that means lots of those dogs eventually ending up in shelters after they've been purchased or after they've been purchased on a whim, sorry. And also uh, lots of dogs uh, being bred by puppy mills where they're kept in deplorable conditions. It also means less dogs, less mutts being adopted from shelters. All right, fewer when you dogs. Consider yeah. the fact that six okay. to so, so you're right. so you're yeah. worried. So you're worried that because Ohio will name the lab as its official dog, that all these random Ohioans who apparently have never heard of the lab before will suddenly be. In, I mean, I, I get your point, and I want to I want to point this out to you, Ashley. Okay, I had two labs, beloved dogs, Troy, who was 13, and also Lucy, who lived to age six. Now, let, there's Lucy. God rest her soul. I, I, do, I do believe dogs go to heaven. I know that's sacred. You know, I, I believe that. So that's Lucy. But now, so actually, <laughs> actually, I now have two uh, rescue dogs. One, I'm going to feed, we're going to show now, Jimmy the junkyard dog. Hold on, we got to put Jimmy up. So, Ashley, oh. there's Jimmy. He looks very guilty. <laughs> I don't know if you can't, he looks very guilty. But I, so I, I agree with you. I love rescue dogs. And I support rescue dogs. I support shelters. I do a lot. But I think this is where PETA kind of loses people. Because it, is it, I don't think people are going to run out. They already know the lab is the most popular dog in the United States. The big hunting dog, bomb sniffing dog. So I don't think it's going to like make people go out and get the, the lab. See what I'm saying? So I think people like Peter's lost its mind. They're going to throw like ink on fur and stuff again. I mean, I think people, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think you kind of lose people with that. You know, I know what you mean, and we know that this bill is well-intentioned, but we've seen this before. Uh, when the movie 101 Dalmatians came out, people rushed out and bought Dalmatians, and so many of those dogs ended up in shelters. It was a crisis. Also, though, you know, if someone is set on a specific breed of dog, including a lab, they should know that of the six to eight million dogs who end up in shelters every year, about 25% of those dogs are purebreds. And in fact, That's if you true. go on the website PetFinder right now, you can see that over 19,000 yep. Labrador retrievers in the U.S. right now are homeless, are looking for good now homes, are and, up for and adoption. Ashley, I can't even go to a shelter. Like my kids and I, when we have nothing to do, we just go to shelters. That's like our thing on the weekend. And I'm and, and Raymond's gonna <laughs> laugh at me because I'll uh, invariably bring home another animal because I can't stand it. I can't stand with dogs don't have homes. So I I, I, I do get it. Okay. But I think there's got to be like a happy, some kind of happy medium between the purebred people and the shelter people. And I think we got to work it out. But if you can adopt the dog, I like adopting children and I like adopting dogs. I think it's all, I think it's all a good and thing. And that's wonderful. Uh, and and, we and, and that. as for those Dalmatians, did, did they, what had happened to them? They end up getting euthanized, all those cute Dalmatians? Because, you know, I, I do like Dalmatians. But Cruella de Vil, did she kill that's them all the or what? <laughs> well, about about half of the animals who end up in shelters every year, half of the six to eight million ending up in shelters do end up euthanized for lack of good homes. And I've got to tell you, you know, for for dogs, um, you know, the, the people who run puppy mills and pet stores are Cruella de Vil because they are sentencing right. shelter dogs to death every time now they it's sell bad. a dog. And I, I think there's some good protections that Ohio has put in place. John Kasich's done it, and that's good stuff. Ashley, it's great to have you on. Thank you so much.